So in this video I'm going to cut and fit some W7 wood in here on the leading edge uh, of the tailplane. We will be working back along the uh, spar side, we'll fit the spar and hopefully we'll get to fit the ribs and all the blocks. That is the plan for this session, so uh, please join me as we move along. Right, so fill this block here. Well, I'm just going to use a piece of card as a template. Nothing particularly high tech here. I'm just going to slip that underneath, make the trailing edge of that match up with the line on the plan. Push that down. I'm just going to round here with a pencil so we actually get a perfect fit, I hope. And then uh, Using a steel rule aligned with the edge of the rib, there I can draw that. There we have a template section which I'll put on to the uh, W7 wood with a bit of double sided tape and then I'll cut that out with a jigsaw. I've sanded across the grain with uh, some coarse uh, sandpaper just to, just to roughen it up and to make sure that it uh, fits and to get rid of the saw marks back to the, the uh, cardboard so it's dead on. There. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put a little mark on this side of the wood and a little mark on the other side there. And with that in position I'm just going to uh, transfer that line all the way up to the top. Yep. Turn it over. As I turn the uh, square over as well, I'm using the lower side of this uh, piece as the datum. So I've got that. And then, because we can see that the, the line that's coming through on both sides there, I know that that's, if I join those two up, across there, that's what I've got to cut off. Uh, that scrap. I'll do the same at the other end and hopefully we'll get a nice perfect match. I'll sand it if necessary just to make it a, a close fit, not a tight fit. We don't need to be wedging this in, we just need to be a close fit. So there's the end. After cutting, you still see a little bit of the pencil line and that should. That just pushes in nice and light, very very slight. I wouldn't say gap. It's just it's just a close tolerance fit. So absolutely spot on. So here I am. I'm just going to cut uh, cut a rib using the block. I've just marked the total length. Just cutting it with my razor saw. Putting it into position, tying it up with a square so that it's uh, on the line there. 
and I'll just mark on the other side. Draw that line across and then we'll sand it. So over on the bench here, I'll just make sure that that's square to the edge. Sanding block. And we'll see how lucky we've got. There you see the joint just there, everything's lined up. It's a very slight thing in the edge, it's no, no problem. We're going to end up with a gusset going over this lot. But that's sorted out and uh, just got to do all the other ribs. So all the ribs are cut and marked out and as you can see there's a whole series of blocks. I'll talk about those a little bit more closely after I've bonded them in. But there's about uh, half an hour's work on the ribs and nearly an hour's work going through all the blocks getting those cut so we've got the corner blocks ready to go next section will be gluing in all the ribs and I'll show you this after I've glued all the ribs into place here we are all the ribs glued into place just want to point out one or two things so this block here which is for the support that goes between the horizontal stabilizer or fixed tail plane uh, to the vertical stabilizer fin is, uh, is here I've rounded this corner off just here to because the covering goes over it I don't like a sharp corner going against covering and then I've drawn on here the direction of grain uh, just to point some things out. So the spar's got the grain going horizontally, same as this. The uh, rib has got the grain going vertically, but the blocks, all the triangular blocks, have the grain going diagonally so that it's going from one piece of structure to the other straight across rather than being in a format like that or vertical where you could have a section of it shear out that makes the block a lot stronger so that concludes uh, this video in the next video we'll be looking at uh, how I deal with putting in the gussets so join me for that bye for now thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up you can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.